Oh my god, the view in my rear mirror. Look at the center go. Oh. <laughs> Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. Welcome to my final day here in Perth, Australia. Uh, we are going out in style. As you would have just noticed, I've just stepped inside the Lee Collection's Mercedes Maybach. I saw tons of these things in Paris last year and fell in love with the idea of them. But the reality is even better than the idea. These cars are incredible. The levels of luxury and comfort have blown my mind. And so as we make our way towards the Lee Collection collection, pull out some cars to go on a drive, I'm gonna give you a tour of this thing. Yes, as I'm chauffeured around Perth, because I genuinely think that this car is better than the Rolls-Royce equivalent. Yes, I'm saying it right here and right now, I'd pick a Maybach over a Ghost if I had the money. I don't have the money, not many people do, but who cares, because this thing is amazing. I am being chauffeured today by Josh from the Lee Collection, who's been appearing in all of my videos here from Perth. Uh, today he's decided to take a very professional role. He's essentially pretending like I'm not even here, which he claims is what a chauffeur would do. And actually he's probably not wrong, because if you've ever been into a, you know, one of those top spec Ubers, or maybe, I don't know, you've gone to an event and they've sent a chauffeur to pick you up, they basically just ignore you so that you can sit back here and you talk about business. What stock should we buy this week, Jonathan? Or maybe you're having a private conversation with your wife. Yep, they just pretend like they're not listening, even though I'm sure he is. <laughs> um, anyway, whilst he very uh, generously uh, cruises us through town, I will show you what's going on back here because yeah, this is stupendous. I'll come back to these levels of comfort in a second because I want to actually kickstart with tech. So as you can see, I've got a big old screen uh, right in front of me. There is uh, Josh right there as one of the users. I'm going to log in as a guest, uh, which will sync up in a second. And as you can see, the first thing that comes up is TV because I've actually been enjoying some TV uh, this morning. Where do I go back? I was a bit too quick there on the uh, sensitivity of the touch screen. But yeah, I can literally enjoy Super Cup, cars there we go bit of racing whilst i'm in the back of the my back i mean how outrageous is this it's like my dream and you probably noticed there that i had to kind of lean forward and stretch out my arms to reach the screen because there's so much leg room back here it's actually quite far away but of course my back have thought about that and there's another little screen down here which uh, if i activate fingers crossed uh, will enable me to actually control the screen ahead now i have struggled slightly with some of these elements today because well there's so many things that you can push and hit there we go maybe i need that power button there we go finally connecting sometimes you can get lost with all the different things that you can push and activate and interact with i didn't realize it literally mirrored uh the display so on sec like, content will be shared with the rear tablet i don't want this to share it i want to just go to the home screen how do i how do i get out of here Essentially, what I can do is use this to control that screen. I'm not displaying that fact very well right now. Let's put that safely back into there. And for now, let's come out of the TV. And you can see, you can do all other things, set the navigation, pick the radio station, uh, your various settings, etc., etc. Uh, in this kind of central console here, we've got our own uh, air conditioning controls. Of course, Josh could set the climate for us back here if we wanted him to. Um, but yeah, if we want to control it ourselves and not talk to him, then that's there. Uh, two cup holders, slightly different size. That's nicely holding my coffee from this morning. It also has the ability to cool and heat the drinks in your cup holder. That little button there means that I could warm that coffee up or cool it down. Uh, if for whatever reason I decided that's a bit ungainly, I don't want to look at that, uh, if I take my coffee out of the way, I can then close it with a button. Everything's automated back here. It just disappears. Nice sleek black finish. It's just unreal the levels that they've thought about. Super cool. I'm put my coffee back there so that it doesn't spill on this lovely and very expensive leather. Uh, over here, uh, the leather, the beautiful leather continues. You can see we've got a whole load of switches. A lot of this is to do with the seat, which I want to come on to last, but these actually control these various blinds. These blinds help with uh, two things. Firstly, the heat keeps some of the, the sun rays out, keeps it nice and cool back here, but also 
privacy. Uh, it creates a really sort of dark cavern environment. People really can't see uh, through this. But if I do want to put them down, maybe I saw my phone. Oh, Jeffrey, how are you? Uh, whatever you might want to do, you can uh, reduce those or sorry, uh, remove those blinds. Uh, same for that side, and there's a rear blind behind us too. Uh, we also have our own sort of sunroof, own glass sunroof, which can be controlled here. Uh, Josh has his own too. Um, makes for a really nice light environment back here. So yeah, big fan of all of that. Uh, sound system, got to talk about this sound system. Absolutely unbelievable sound system with speakers everywhere. I mean, look at this huge unit up here. Everywhere you look, you can see speakers. And actually, the subwoofers for the sound system are integrated into the seats and into the massage function of the seats so that your massage can be in tune with the bass of the music you're listening to. It's like a full-on spa experience. Absolutely outrageous. And so below this screen, which I very badly demonstrated, there's a little button. And if I pull that up, it reveals tables because yes, lots of people who own my backs will want to be doing oh I'm sorry, will want to be doing work. So this fold out table can uh, have your laptop so you can just do some some editing or something like that or, or enjoy a meal yeah I can get my coffee back again and sit here and just watch the world go by as yeah Josh very nicely navigates us through town so yeah super cool it feels super high quality it's uh, got like a nice metallic -y finish so uh, they're fantastic on so open that back up and actually let me show you because in here you've got a whole load of USB-C cables of four inputs for USB-C and two HDMI inputs as well and I think that's wireless charging so yeah uh, endless capabilities there for that way but I can sort of puzzle to to figure all that out. Um, back here you can have an optional fridge if you want for your champagne at the moment. This is a big nice storage cubby hole uh, and up here as well you have the option for champagne flutes or just uh, more storage um, and I think that's probably all the cubby holes so let's move on to the seats because yes these things are amazing. I mean, firstly look at that your own my back pillow absolutely lovely um, but yeah the seats themselves are just can you see that padding they are so comfortable you get these beautiful cushioned pillows on the headrest the headrests are big enough anyway um, but the space is the biggest thing to demonstrate and I'm currently sitting in the kind of prime passenger seat which is obviously not behind the driver because this car like so many other sort of luxury saloons or SUVs has the ability to transform itself to give this passenger even more space and even more comfort and luxury. Uh, I'll demonstrate that now with this button over here. Various presets that Mercedes or Maybach offer you. This one right here looks the most inviting. So if I actually hold that there you will notice the seat in front of me starts to move away. Now this firstly is already huge amounts of comfort. I'm six foot two and my legs are just free. I mean I've got so much space to stretch out which is a very rare thing for me in a car. So this is already unbelievable. Uh, but the seat continues to move away, the headrest is folded and, and now the rear of my seat, this part of the seat is folding down. You can notice that the, the bottom part is pushing away from me and I'm gaining a calf support, a very cushy calf support which has elongated my legs and in a second that footrest will come down and ladies and gentlemen, I'm in a bed. <laughs> I could fall asleep. If I had a blanket right now, I'd sit back. It's a lovely sunroof. It'd be a perfect way to tour Australia. I mean, drive the world 2.0, give me a my back. That's what I'm needing and, and, and a Josh. Although Josh, you, you like the driving experience, right? Can you acknowledge me this time, please, chauffeur? Just give us a thumbs up or some kind of, yeah, there you go, he's very happy. Yeah, giving it all that. But if you don't want one of these presets, you can of course customize the seat to, uh, hold on a sec, there we go, we're gonna push that once, there you go. Uh, customize the seat to, uh, to be however you want. You've got various different controls. If you just want the car for air, so you wanna put your seat more upright, whatever it might be. You've also got the massage functions that I mentioned before, heated seat, cooled seats, everything you can possibly think of. There's so many features that I've probably forgotten to show you. That's how much is going on with this guy. I haven't figured them all out. I just, you know, I'm still learning so many of them, but but for now, I think, let's go back to, uh, oh, we've got some adverts now. Bunsen is a beast. I wanted to watch the, uh, the racing. Where's the racing gone? I've got movies on. I could just literally cruise the television. There we go, watch some National Basketball League. Uh, get that up and running and streaming. And I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of my journey as we head towards the Lee Collection Warehouse. Pick up some slightly less luxurious and comfortable, but maybe dynamically more interesting cars. Oh, look, here we go. I found a floor. My first negative, the, the basketball's not loading. What a first world problem. Driver, my basketball's not loading on my rear screen. Can you sort something out, please? Yeah, he's pretending to ignore me now. Convenient. <laughs>
just quickly before I finish up this epic final day in Perth, let me quickly tell you about one of my regular sponsors on this channel and one of the sponsors for this trip, Y Food. I'm sure you've heard me talk about Y Food before because, well, I've been partnered up with them for a while. But if you don't know, essentially, this is one super nutritious meal in drink format. These things are awesome. Firstly, they fill you up for like three to five hours, but they also taste great. Ever since Y Food first got in touch about 18 months ago, I've tried plenty of other similar kind of drinks, but they always have slightly dodgy consistency or they taste a bit sort of medicinal. These things taste the bomb. If you follow me on Instagram, watch my Instagram stories, you'll know I love a smoothie or a juice. And these things taste like some of the best smoothies or juices I ever have. This is the happy banana flavor. I'm not even really a banana drink fan, but this thing rocks. The, the coconut flavor, the choco classic, the cold brew coffee. At some point they sent me this kind of peach lassi flavor which is also amazing. I'm just completely addicted but for me running around constantly just means that if I've got these I can chuck one down I'm full for three to five hours and I know I've got a good meal inside of me. I even managed to get Tony hooked on these during our time in LA and I've got some of the guys over here in Australia into them as well. I highly recommend you go and check them out. As I say Y Food the link is in the description below. Go give a try some of these flavors. I haven't actually tried one. Have I tried one that I don't like yet? I'm trying to think of any of them I kind of skip or avoid. No, no, they're all, they're all genuinely delicious. But yeah, cold brew coffee, obviously my favorite. So yeah, go check them out. Why food, one nutritious meal in a drink. When I said we were going out in style, I wasn't joking. So yes, we've ditched the Maybach and I'm in an 812 GTS. The same 812 GTS that we kickstarted this trip with, the one with Novatech exhaust pipes. So this is gonna be good. And seemingly amassed a whole load of friends with other crazy cars and we're doing a big old drive. I think this could be quite chaotic, but also epic. So, <laughs> oh yes. Got a Senna behind me, a Huracan in front of me, and yes, the ability to play with this incredible exhaust. Ever since that experience in a Novatech 812 GTS last year, I've been desperate to get back in one, and yeah, it's gonna be good. There's a very annoying fly in here. Go away. Oh, the Senna's letting people overtake him, so we're gonna be surrounded by some other cars for now, but. Soundtrack. That soundtrack! Oh my god, the view in my rear mirror! Look at the center go! Oh. <laughs> That's outrageous! Okay, the GTR is flaming. The GTR is flaming. Oh, and there's a 360! I didn't even notice the 360 was here. It's a 360 spider. Oh, my heart is racing. I'm gonna sleep well on the plane tonight, my gosh. Oh my god, I think there's a tunnel coming up. There's a tunnel coming up. This is... Oh, okay, play it cool, Sam. Play it cool. This will be totally fine. It's a Novatec 812 and a whole load of supercars in a tunnel. What's going to happen? What a 
way to see out this most epic of adventures. I have to say a huge thanks one more time, of course, to the Lee Collection, of which most of these cars are from. They've been incredible hosts. Josh has been amazing, but the whole team have been so generous during my time here. It's been so special. I was last in Australia in 2019 during Drive the World, last in Perth at the same time. To come back here, it's better than I ever remembered, and I want to spend more time in Australia. It's very far away, but I, I genuinely love it here. I love the people, and when you've got cars like this on tap, it's mind-boggling. So I hope you've enjoyed these adventures. Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, because whilst my time in Australia might be over, there's lots of exciting things to head home for.